Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today the topic of our discussion is the difference between light reaction and dark reaction of photosynthesis. Starting with why the name. As we all know, light reaction is a light dependent process. It involves two photosystems, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. The organelle that is involved in photosynthesis is the chloroplast. Inside the chloroplast, there is grana. This stack is called as grana and individual units are called as thylakoid. Sunlight strikes on this thylakoid sacs. Let us zoom in this region. So this is the thylakoid membrane. On the thylakoid membrane, these photosystems are located. You can see the photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. The photosystems are simply collection of pigment molecules that is capable of receiving this light energy and from there electrons are released and during the movement of electron the energy released is used to pump proton into the lumen while this proton moves through ATP synthase. That proton driven force is actually driving the synthesis of ATP from ADP and PI. The other thing happening is the synthesis of NADPH. So in light reaction it is totally dependent on sunlight where the sunlight, the energy from the sunlight is converted to chemical energy in the form of ATP and as reducing power NADPH. Dark reaction is a light independent process. No photosystem is required in the process. In dark reaction carbon dioxide is reduced or converted to sugar or carbohydrate or glucose using the energy that is produced during light reaction that is ATP and NADPH that is produced during light reaction. Difference number two regarding the site of reaction. As we discussed light reaction occurs on the grana of chloroplast. This structure is called a grana the individual units of grana is called a thylakoid that is placed one above the other. Therefore, the precise location is the thylakoid membrane of grana of chloroplast. Where a stark reaction occurs on the stroma of chloroplast, where carbon dioxide is converted to glucose. Difference number three regarding the output. In light reaction, the energy from the sunlight is received by pigment molecules and that energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH. Whereas in dark reaction, this energy is used in Calvin cycle for converting for fixing carbon dioxide to carbohydrate or glucose. During the process, NADPH is oxidized to NADP plus and ATP is dephosphorylated to ADP and PI that is required for the further synthesis of ATP and NADPH in light reaction. So this is a cyclic process. Difference number four regarding photolysis of water. In light reaction there is photolysis of water. During the process oxygen is liberated and that is the oxygen that is released during photosynthesis. So this is the thylakoid membrane where photosystems and other electron carriers are located. This is photosystem 2 and this is photosystem 1. You can see once the electron is released from photosystem 2, there is an electron hole or electron cap that should be refilled or replenished. It is refilled by a process called photolysis of water where water splits up forming oxygen protons and electrons. These electrons feed into this photosystem too and further carries out the reaction. During the process oxygen is evolved and that is the oxygen that is evolved during photosynthesis. Whereas in dark reaction there is no photolysis of water. In dark reaction the carbon dioxide enters into Calvin cycle where it is converted or where it is fixed or reduced to carbohydrate or glucose C6H12 or 6 using the energy that is synthesized during light reaction we can see here the ATP and NADPH is used in Calvin cycle for the synthesis of glucose. 
These are the major differences between light reaction and dark reaction of photosynthesis. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.